Magandang hapon, Sir Rico. Welcome po sa Tatak, UPLB. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here. Sa tingin niyo po, Sir Rico, as a NISCO, what adjective best fits you and why? I would like to describe myself as a NISCO. Of course, with strong nationalistic uh, grounding, but I want to make sure that I have public value driven. And then I want to also make sure that I am also output oriented. So siguro, Isra, those are the three uh, three things that I'd like to describe myself being a proud isko. Ang tanong pong sunod ay bakit niyo po naisipang mag-aral ng master's at PhD? Would you recommend it sa ating mga alumni na mag-take din po ng graduate study? Definitely, studying MS and PhD in UPLB is strongly recommended. Alam nyo, uh, pag sinabi po kasi ng UPLB with regards to graduate education, we're hmm. very much comparable and among the best, not just, of course, in the Philippines or in Southeast Asia, but we're really comparable also to the rest of the world. If we want to have a more focused studies on our respective disciplines, it is important to further our craft by taking MS and PhD. Pag sinabi po kasing MS at PhD, syempre, we want to make sure na you already have a more profound understanding on the methods, mm-hmm. on the concepts, and that's why uh, you will study MS. On the other hand, if you want to have more profound questions and then aim to really answer it uh, so that you can help advance your discipline, you have to study a PhD. If you want to achieve both, you know, and then with strong nationalistic and clear contribution to the development of the Philippines, much more that you have to study also in UPL. So yung having yung ating vision uh, talagang nakikita naman po natin sa ating university no at par po talaga siya sa ibang universities mm-hmm. even out- Ayun, how different po kaya ang graduate school compared sa undergraduate sa experience po and can you give yung ating mga alumni advice if they want to pursue graduate study? Different in in various fronts. But I think it is reflective of the personal and professional growth that comes along. I mean, as a person progresses from being an undergrad to a graduate student. Para sa akin, as an undergraduate, syempre, it is important that we focus on teaching ourselves how to learn. And at the same time, learning is not just really about reading books or attending our classes. No? But we want to make sure that in terms of the breadth of understanding, our understanding on a particular discipline, that should be clearly inculcated uh, during our undergraduate degrees. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we should learn how to have fun. Parang ito dapat yung time na medyo matuto din tayong makipag uh, interact with our friends, our classmates, because we want to develop the leadership skills. On the other hand, pag dumating na tayo sa MS at sa PhD, medyo bit-bit mo na yung learning na yun. But now, we want to teach ourselves how to learn. Magkaiba yun. Dati, <laughs> just want to learn. Mm-mm. But now, we have to also ask, paano ba dapat mas matuto tayo? And therefore, sa graduate studies, we are providing more value on one's ability to ask deep questions so that we don't just learn about things. We also learn how to learn things and then learn some other things that may not be worth learning already. So there's really a big difference between the two. But a good undergraduate education is surely a good foundation for one to have better understanding on your PhD and MS degrees. So nandun po yung fundamentals sa undergraduate and then yung okay. MS and PhD talagang deeper na po talaga dun sa discipline, studying it. Yun nga po sabi niya, learning and unlearning things na hindi naman talaga yung kailangan pang i ano. Um, i-apply, ganyan. So, ayun naman, proceed naman po tayo, Sir Rico, dun sa inyong career path. Before po kayo ba nag-graduate, nag-plan po ba kayo na kung ano yung career path na iti-take nyo and did you make any preparations for it? Ever since, when I was young, I really loved the environment. I grew up attending to campings, like doing hiking. I love swimming. I really love the outdoors. And in one way or the other, uh, that inspired me to really study um, environmental science. And then I realized that I could invest a career actually out of that curiosity or love for the environment. And that's why 
I opted to study um, environmental science. Now, if you think about environmental science, kasi medyo infancy stage siya. Um, tama po na 1970s, 1980s, ang Pilipinas, we already have actually the Institute of Environmental Science and Management, the Naging School of Environmental Science and Management. But this is a kind of discipline na ang tawag is interdisciplinary na hopefully maging transdisciplinal uh, na, na, na study o na discipline. Now, since it is an infancy stage na discipline, I want to invest a career that hopefully can contribute to advancing this discipline. Kaya napag-isipan ko po nun is to really invest on science-related na career so that hopefully I can contribute on the science as well as on the practice of environmental science. So that's the career path that I'm enjoying uh, right now. So from enjoying, you want to contribute po talaga also so sa inyong um, resume, yan, sa inyong bio note then that you received many distinctions and yun nga, isa nga doon yung being a UP scientist 3 po, di ba? So talagang nag excel po kayo when it comes to research. So saan nyo po talaga gusto makilala? Dito po ba sa research or are there any um, areas you want to be known for? Actually, as a faculty member of UPLB, one of the plus points there is that we can do both teaching and research. And of course, even extension and public service. So th- that's the beauty of the faculty position that we have here in UPLB. And that is the expectation of the university for each of us. For me, kahit saan mang position or anumang position, I think walang, walang problema sa akin. Pero... Overall, ang gusto ko talaga, and I think dito natutunan ko talaga to sa UPLB, is we want to make sure that with our respective positions, we can really uh, make a dent. Yung dent na gusto ko, na sana magkaroon, ng, makatulong ako doon, is to really advance environmental science as a discipline in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. So sana kung meron mang uh, theorizing, Meron mang pag-analyze paano ginagawa natin ang environmental science ngayon at in the future. Sana makatulong ako uh, on that um, aspect. I think din po, di ba, uh, along with that, you would want for UPLB to be known na siya talaga yung nangunguna dun po sa environmental science and management. Ayun. So as the new dean po ng ating School of Environmental Science and Management, ano po kayo ang mga plans niyo to strengthen Yung alumni partnership ng SESAM at ng UPLB. SESAM, as part of UPLB, performs a very important role, not just academic-related purposes, but also in terms of um, advancing the environmental conservation and governance uh, sa Pilipinas, sa bansa natin. Now, if you delve further into the environmental problems that we're facing, it remains to be a question of sustainability and a question about ano ba talaga ang mga solusyon. And that's the reason why during this term, we crafted, ang tawag po natin doon is SESAM Sales. Ang ibig pong sabihin noon is SESAM, an accelerated innovation in learning and solution. Ang gusto po sana natin is in the way we teach, the way we practice environmental science, the sustainability concept is clearly highlighted. And then we don't just simply teach in, uh, in terms of concepts and theories, dapat magta-translate din siya in, into solutions. So if this is technological solutions, if these are policy or anumang innovative uh, solutions, we have to be the leaders also in providing these kind of solutions to really contribute to the solving of environmental problems. Ang UPLB alumni, lalo na sa SESAM alumni in this respect, you would really need their help to make sure that what they're learning from their actual practice that's related to, sustain, to sustainability can then be incorporated uh, doon sa program uh, ng environmental science. The way we craft our courses, the way we teach our courses, and the way we update our courses. Second, marami ding bitbit ng mga ideas for sure ang mga alumni in terms of paano ba ginagawa talaga ang solutions so that what we teach inside the classroom and what is being practiced, we can put it together and then we can then give that to our current um, students. Alam ko, 
po, pwede po ang mga alumni maging affiliate faculty po if they are really interested uh, to do it. They can also be part of uh, the panel no, ng mga estudyante din po natin. And for sure, doon po pwede nilang uh, maituro kung ano man ang marami talaga nilang pwedeng maituro ng actual experience nila. At saka syempre, we want to make sure that our alumni uh, will be supported, meaning if they themselves will feel ba na they have a say on the way we run our programs because they are products of our programs as well. I am, hope, uh, I am, I am really hopeful that the future uh, graduates of our programs may say sila doon. In, in that case, we're producing far better graduates in the future, which surely our country needs. Mm-mm. So, hindi lang talagang habang nandun sila sa school, even after that, talaga makapag-continue. And, um, are so, there uh, any messages, Dean, you would want to say to our alumni? We would like to really work with you. Our focus now is to make sure that we craft good graduate, um, environmental graduate program. But we want to make sure that these graduate programs are really meaningful to what is really happening um, on the ground. The alumni could surely provide a guidance as well as the assistance how to make it happen. So we'd be very happy to communicate, to interact, and to listen, and to work with you in making sure that UPLB remains one of the best, not just in the Philippines, but also in Southeast Asia and the world. Ako si Rico Angkog, Tatak. UPLB ako. Galing UPLB, galing UPLB.